Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Unnatural Part Dose. Okay, this is a really good comic. This is a phenomenally good comic. Wow. I, like, I'm wondering how much of this already exists, how many parts, how many issues are already out in Italy and all those other places that's being released. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm just glad we got it here at issue two at the very least. This is awesome. All right, so... Uh, Merica Andolfo is the writer, artist, and colorist. It doesn't get a lot more talented than that. Uh, colors assistant, Gian, uh, excuse me, Gianluca Papi, and uh, lettering and production, Fabio Amelia. This is sick. This is sick, dude. This is from uh, Arancia Studios, translated from the Italian. Beautiful comic book. All right, sexy comic book, scantilating comic book, <laughs> all right? Um, this is just a, oh man, this is just a story about too many laws for some strange unknown reason. Maybe one day we'll actually figure out why the laws are what they are, but can we figure out why the laws are what they are where we live, wherever it is that we're living? Um, sometimes, sometimes there's the, the thing they say, but it's not the actual truth, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, this is, wow, seeing this, this girl's interest in opposite species is, it's weird, man. Like, it's not just unnatural. It's weird, you know? More than that, it's the idea that she's interested in this other species, but regardless, it's illegal, for her to do that, for her to be with somebody, God forbid actually being married. Her mother and father were in one of these arranged marriages that she's now got to, you know, get into now that she's 25 years old. And her, the, the parents didn't like each other that much, but especially the mother cheats interspecies wise on her father every time that she, you know, that, that he would leave to go on business in another, uh, another city or something to that effect. Wow. Just, and, and like she hates him, hates him. And it's not even, that's a funny thing. It's barely the idea that she hates him. She hates the idea of having to be with him because she's forced into it. Like there's that resentment where it's not necessarily something personally against him. It's more like, well, whoever was in his place, I wouldn't like the person because I didn't get to choose him. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I would probably feel very similar myself. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't get to choose the woman I was with, like, I don't know how happy I'd be. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'd get lucky and she'd be hot and she'd be smart and she'd be all the cool things that I'm looking for. But I didn't actually get to make that decision. Yeah, I'm not a fan of arranged marriages. And imagine if that was like by law, not just pleasing your mom and dad. No, by law. <laughs> so... This is deep. There, there's, there's violent, angry police who are very hostile and willing to put a beating on pretty much anybody. There was a comment made, um, professional protesters. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how far and wide this concept goes in the world, but I know that it exists in America and it's just so sad. All of it, it's just so sad. So I'm waiting for, for words of fake news to arise, you know? So this is crazy, and I love this comic book. There's I, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of uh, the real world coming into their comic books. I'm the exact opposite. I really love it when that happens, you know? When you get a an alternate take on what we're already seeing, when you see someone else's version, someone else's imaginary take on what's actually happening. That's great. That's great. Um, art imitates life, man. That's what happens. Anyway, guys, seriously, take a chance. Go out and grab issue one if you can still find it or when the trade comes out. You know what I'm saying? This is good. This is a really good, fun comic book. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.